everyone so we're back this time i got another furniture from timu and this one is a kitchen pantry so let's open this up i hope we don't get a damaged product The one thing that you have to remember with uh, Timu furniture or bigger or big item from Timu, they usually come in two packages. I make a mistake on the first time. I thought it was one package and I was worried that I didn't get all the parts or I'm missing parts, but apparently they came in two packages. So if you just got one package come to your house, you're going to wait another one to come in and um, or check with the seller if the product come in two packages or just one, okay? So this is the pack, how the packaging look like. They put a lot of styrofoam on it and they put this, a lot of this thick cardboard on it to make sure it's cold. They come in two colors. One is uh, black and wooden color and the other one is white color. So this one that I got is white color, okay, is this, and they label the part. So every part have different number, and for me, I think that's good, it make it easier for you to uh, build later on. I'm only unboxing this thing, my husband will be the one to build this thing, because we've been experiencing it before. To build this thing, it takes so long and so many parts, so you need two people to do it. I'm so lazy to do it, so my husband will build this for me. For you two. The first furniture that we got, which is the bookshelf, it took us three hours at least i think if i'm not wrong you can watch the video before if the person knows their way around furniture and there's no disturbance like us we have kids running around and i'm making this video i think it takes shorter yeah it takes shorter than that it takes like an hour and a half for people who get used to it to doing these things and if you're a no, if you're a frequent ikea customer yeah so if you're, yeah, that's true. If you're a frequent IKEA kind of customer, these things will take you some time. Oh, here's the glass. It's not like the thick glass. It's real thin. Can you hear it? Yeah. Is that plastic or is it real glass glass? It's a glass glass, but it's so thin. Yeah, it's Can you hear thin it? as that over there. Yeah. And another thing, they deliver it for you for free. And um, you always can do a price adjustment. FYI, big furniture like this from Timu that gets sent from a local warehouse usually doesn't take that long to get delivered. Usually between three to five days or the latest is like 10 days. So, yeah. about the glass going to break. But it looks like they protected it pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, how many glass are they? I think it's four, is it? Mommy, why are you keeping it all over here? Uh, because we don't really need it at the moment. Oh. Wow. They put like pretty good amount of styrofoam in it. 
Okay. Now I'm gonna put all these things back. Okay. Okay. Close that over there. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna put this one in that side. So this is the last box. Can you go one side? They don't have any like a clear instruction. They just give you, yeah, it's just they give you a visual of it. And this is the stickers for the screws later on. Put it aside. And this one, the hardware. One thing that's very important to remember every time you buy product from Timu, you always, always, always check the measurement before you purchase two things that you need to really check and read over and over again is the product details and the measurement of the product that you want to purchase otherwise if you just expect that the product is big or the way you like it you will be disappointed because most of the stuff from timu they are a little bit small or maybe they're using um, certain materials. So before you purchase, always make a habit of checking their product details and their measurement. So you don't get disappointed when your product arrived, okay? The reason why I buy furniture from Timu because it's in my price range and they offer a free delivery. And sometimes I can use coupon or a discount that they offer. And I check in some other site, some of the product that I got from Timu, it's the same product that it's sell on some other site. So I decided to just buy it from Timu because I like the free delivery. And sometimes I like to use the coupon from Timu. Not all the coupon is simple to use because some of those coupon bundle they expect you to spend certain amount or buy a lot more to be able to use the coupon bundles so in my case rather than using those coupon bundles and buy unnecessary stuff i wait until they give a discount here and there sometimes every month they give like 50 percent off or 60 percent off on certain product then if the product is something that I like, then I buy it, you know? Okay, okay so that's it. That's the last pierce that I'm taking out. So we will start building it together and... So here's all the parts for the kitchen pantry that we are going to build. And here's the screws and all of these screws have a mark on them a letter okay this one is the for the door I think see they have a letter right here on every screws and on every part they have a number for you because the manual the instruction it's only give you a pictures with the numbers and the letters on it on what to use and which board and which uh, screws to use. So now let's start building it.
to cover up any screws. Yeah, this one is to cover any screws. We're gonna yeah. do it later. And then this one is the leftover screws. And I'm not sure what is this. And this one is to attach to a wall. So we're gonna continue this tomorrow morning. We're gonna attach it to the kitchen. And this is the final look. And here's how the pantry look like in my kitchen. Now the last thing for me to do is to put on the stickers all over this exposed screws right here and to attach it to the wall. Okay. And there is a scratch right here a little bit. I just noticed that after I take off the plastic. It's not major or anything. And the plastic apparently when we rip it off it's not all the way gone and I don't want to force it because and this one is not really balanced just yet I need to adjust it a little bit more I'm a little bothered with this plastic over here like in every corner of this glass they are um they doesn't want all came off they're still stuck there a little bit in every corner and when i force to pull it out the window is a little bit shaky so i don't want to force it i'll just leave it there like that and this is how the bottom drawer look like we're finally able to adjust it to close properly this is the drawer is quite smooth it's not stuck at all okay so that's how it's look and here's now how it look like after i fill up some stuff on the counter well that's it i hope this video is helpful for you thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye